Welcome to The Gifts of God. Today, we bring you a profound and urgent message from St. Michael the Archangel, delivered to Luz de Maria de Bonilla on June 10th, 2024. In these challenging times, it's crucial that we heed the divine guidance and prepare our hearts and souls. Join us as we explore this powerful message and understand the signs of our times. Stay with us until the end for a journey of faith, hope, and divine wisdom. Message from St. Michael, the Archangel to Luz de Maria de Bonilla on June 10th, 2024. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you sent by the Most Holy Trinity. You will receive our angelic protection whenever you invoke us. As children of God, all humanity should heed the signs and signals of these times. At the time of the Tower of Babel, CF General 11, 1, 9, human ego had grown so much that people believed they could reach God, leading him to scatter them and cause them to speak different languages. Today, humanity's ego has again grown, but now it wishes for God's absence in every person's life. This will bring great suffering, not as with the Tower of Babel, but through the consequences of human actions. You will groan and cry out for divine help as the weapons created by man turn against him. Fire will fall from the sky, spreading across almost the entire earth through nuclear energy. Human pride seeks to continue dominating the earth, aiming to govern everyone and fulfill its desires globally. The righteous one among the righteous will come to separate the wheat from the tares, CF, Mount 1324, 30, to divide light from darkness. The angel of peace will arrive after the public appearance of the Antichrist. He will be sent as a great act of divine mercy by the most holy trinity. He will call humanity back to God and despite the fury of the Antichrist, he will not be defeated. He will be slandered but will stand firm for his presence will evoke either pain or happiness in people's hearts based on their deeds and actions. His holiness and truth will be like a sword, challenging those who seek to destabilize the mystical body of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. The angel of peace is a human being. He is not Elijah. He is not Enoch. He is not John. He is none other than the angel of peace himself. United in love, I urge you to dedicate June 13th to the Angel of Peace. Pray in spirit and truth. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray. The United States and Russia are so close that one misstep could ignite an uncontrollable war. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray. Tectonic plates are shifting powerfully within the Earth. Magnetism is drawing unexpected large meteorites toward the Earth. Pray for Bolivia and Central America. Pray, children. Pray for Jamaica. It will suffer. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for Argentina. It is at a crossroads. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray about the illness that is coming for all of humanity. Amid intense provocation among nations, you must act prudently and prepare. Be doers of God's will and act in faith. It is not a time for questions, but for each person to reflect inwardly. What am I like? Strive to become more spiritual each day. Each person will find their own way toward communion with God's will. I protect you with my angelic legions. St. Michael, the archangel brothers and sisters, we find ourselves in a period marked by profound sorrow and anguish as countless lives are lost to the ravages of war. This immense suffering, inflicted by relentless conflicts, stems from the overpowering ambitions and self-interests of nations. Humanity, consumed by the insatiable thirst for power and dominance, has become blinded to the true essence of our existence. The madness of power has led us astray creating a world where peace and compassion are overshadowed by violence and greed. In these tumultuous times, it is imperative that we turn our hearts and minds to the divine. The Third World War, with all its devastation and chaos, 
will ultimately be halted by the merciful hand of God. Yet, this cessation of conflict will bring to light a deeper, more profound suffering, the anguish of our souls, which have long been indifferent to the divine calls for repentance and transformation. This spiritual pain will serve as a stark reminder of our neglect of the sacred and the holy. We must come to a profound understanding that God is the supreme ruler of all creation. We are but his humble creatures, designed to live in accordance with his divine will. The Trinitarian will of God reigns supreme, guiding the cosmos and our lives towards his ultimate purpose. It is time for us to recognize our place within this divine order and to submit ourselves fully to the sovereignty of our Creator. Let us bend our knees in humility and devotion, embracing the supremacy of God's will in our lives. Through prayer, adoration, and sincere repentance, we can realign ourselves with the divine plan. As we navigate these challenging times, let us patiently await the coming of the Angel of Peace, who will herald a new era of divine mercy and restoration. This holy messenger will guide us back to the path of righteousness and love, helping humanity to heal and rebuild in accordance with God's eternal truth. As we move forward, let us remember that our strength lies in our faith and our unity. By coming together as one, under the banner of God's love, we can overcome the trials that lie ahead. Let us support one another, showing compassion and mercy, and reflecting the divine light in all our actions. In doing so, we will honor God's supreme will and prepare ourselves for the blessings that await us with the arrival of the Angel of Peace.